All right, this is my version of a Spanish squat. I have uh, studied it closely and gotten familiar with uh, the way the style is set up. And, and I've found my version that I can use so that I can achieve the same results. So it, it uh, comes down to locking the tops. You need to be able to lock the tops. So, but then also having a good ground base too helps. And, and the reason that I need to do the Spanish squats is because I have a bad, bad knee and I'm, I'm getting some relief. So I lock into my tires. These are five foot two inches and, and I lean back so that I'm putting a different kind of pressure on my knee. And I actually, I can actually burn my thigh muscles out. I'm kind of hitting the back of my car here, but that's okay. If I had a bigger car, I would need longer sticks. But yeah, you, crows are attacking a seagull. But uh, it's, they say you do about 30 seconds for the Spanish squat, just holding it. So that's that's what I shoot for. I can also um, my my version gives me an added benefit of being able to push down, and I'm, I tire myself out a little bit more. It takes <laughs> so that takes pressure off of my my uh, my knee in a way that gives relief <clears throat> from uh, the pains of regular squatting by using these uh, these handles. These special handles that join together. I can also do other exercises too, but for Spanish squats, it's pretty decent. Also, <clears throat> I can do uh, single legged Spanish squats, so just one. I was doing that originally, but I wasn't satisfied with the feeling. It wasn't satisfying to do with just one leg at a time. I'll show it here. Um, and that pretty much just involves just kind of looping. I get the the leg in place, and I and I'm I'm not able to straighten out this leg, so I'm pushing against the stick, and it's it's a single leg. These could be kind of a burner, a burnout type of exercise. <laughs> after the double leg. The double leg is more desirable, but doing single leg after doing the double leg is quite an option. So I do that until until a good fatigue, switch over, switch over to the other leg. And, and you can hear my door locking. It locks whenever it rains now. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not able to straighten out my leg and so this this is this is a workout not being able to straighten out my leg this is like being on the leg extensions and I use my tire you could use the wall or something any anything that's going to resist the stick but yeah I do a little bit of a circuit workout 
too. So lock them together. Do a little bit of the squatting. All right. Do this until fatigue. I change up the locking every so often because it does. This one, this right one's higher now than the left one. And just lean back and really put a lot of pressure on my knee. I'm able to squat down a little bit better. I warm it up better at least. And I, re I remember back in <sighs> my younger years, I always felt a, a better warm up with the leg extensions for doing squats. But I've been neglecting that because I don't have access. But this is new, this is access now to a better at wor workout for legs. And then I'll do a little, a little circle, a little cycle here. This is kind of new for me. I'll just sit here and try to press back the, pull back the bar, the, the, the sticks. And they can get right up kind of high. So this is a little, little workout. Yeah, I feel it a little bit. And then also, these might fall because this ground is not very stable. But then if I feel like it, and if the ground is good, I'll just, oh, nope, that's not gonna work. It's better. The ground is better over there. Uh, but that's, I do pulls if I feel like it. But uh, I, uh, I'm new to this uh, Spanish squat thing. So I'm just kind of introducing it right now and we'll see how, where, it, where it goes.